Hi guys, welcome to another question of Ask Java series. In this video, we'll see what is static keyword in Java and why do we need static keyword. So first, let's understand where we use static. So basically, we use static with instance variables, methods, inner classes, and static block. We're going to see every part in detail in the upcoming videos. But in this video, let's understand the higher level purpose of static keyword so static basically comes into picture for memory management whenever you have something that is common throughout the program we make it static to understand let's take an example suppose we have a software for school and we have a student class each student has properties like id name and school name now this properties or this object is going to take memory in the heap area, right? Now heap memory is expensive with regards to performance. Obviously each object will be stored in the heap memory and ID and name and school name are going to take up the memory in the heap area. Now ID and name are going to be different for different students, but school name is going to be common for every student. So why allow it to take memory in the heap area? We can simply take it out and store it in the class memory. And making it static will ensure that this common field will take memory in the class area. So basically static is used for a method or a variable which is going to be same for every instance of a class. Your school name is common for every instance of a class so we are going to make it static. And since this will take memory in the class area memory wise or performance wise it is going to be more efficient so that is the purpose of static variables or methods we also have static blocks and inner classes that is static inner classes which serve a little different purpose and that we'll see in the upcoming videos but remember static's main purpose is to manage the memory effectively and whatever common fields we have across all the instances we make it static we can use static with again variables methods we have a static block and static inner class also one more point to remember here is that static is not accessed with the object name as we usually access our variables and methods static is always accessed with the class name so let's say if you want to access the school name you're going to say student that is the class name student dot school name to access the static variable since static belongs to a class and not to an object we access it with the class name so whenever you are asked this question in the interview don't forget to mention all these points remember you have to mention all the places that we can use static keyword you have to mention why we use static keyword and how to access variables methods etc with static keyword so i hope from this video you understood the higher level purpose of in the upcoming videos, we are going to talk more about static variables, static methods, static block and static inner class. So stay tuned and subscribe to our channel. And if you have any questions, don't forget to mention in the comment section below. We'll get back to it very shortly. Thank you.